everybody, it's Tom Dock, Certified Veterinary Journalist, and I'm here at Noah's Animal Hospitals with Pamela, and this is Woods. Woods is a kitty cat. How old is Woods? He's about two years old. He's about two years old. And, and Pam, why did you bring Woods in today? You have a concern, I think. I do have a concern. I'm afraid he's getting a little too fluffy. They do have more problems, right? Just like with people. Mm -hmm. Diabetes. Um, they have orthopedic problems. They have respiratory problems, and it definitely shortens their lifespan. For those of you at home, I know sometimes you like to look at your pet and you're probably looking at Woods right now going, wow, he's um, he actually looks pretty good. He's a good, good sized boy. But here's the problem. Here's what we want to look at. We want to look at our pets from above and see if they have a waistline. Your pet should actually curve in a little bit right before their hips. And if that's not happening, then we've got too much weight. Also, we look for that abdominal tuck. So we should see a tuck go up here. Now he's got a little bit of a pouch there and that's okay for a kitty cat, but I cannot feel his ribs individually. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, I'm glad you brought him in. This is something we've got to talk about how we can help him lose weight. Okay, uh, one of the first steps that we're going to do is we're going to talk about a good physical exam with your veterinarian. Okay, okay? and you're going to talk about how do you feed him and what do you feed him. So let's just start with that. What are you feeding Woods? Who feeds him? What does he get every day? Well, unfortunately, I feed him um, free, uh -huh. free feeding. Um, like I said, I have other cats that um, free feed and they're not heavy. How about treats when he, you know, just sitting there petting him? Does he get any kind of... No treats. No treats. So this is all his it's diet. Very, yeah. Okay. Okay. We need to know who's feeding in the household because maybe you're feeding and then somebody else comes along and sees an empty bowl. Oh, need to feed again. Oh. I always tell people don't free feed. Let's portion control some in the morning, some in the night. Digestion is work, so when you feed them less more often, they actually have to work more and they'll actually burn some more calories. So maybe we're not walking quite as much, and so the pets have put on pounds just kind of like we have. So, yeah, so there's lots of things that we can do. So how are we going to take care of our kitty cat? Um, will he walk on a leash or a harness? I've never tried. Never tried? So that's always one thing to try. You never know until you try. You always think that cats can't be trained, but cats are very smart and cats can adapt to those kind of things. So I would recommend a harness in a controlled environment first. Okay. So put him on a harness on a leash inside the house, not outside the house, okay. and see how he walks along with you, okay? We want to make sure that a kitty cat, especially this guy wood size, maybe a quarter to half a pound per week at most. So that means he's only going to lose, you know, a pound to two pounds a month. So it may take a little bit of time. Well, my guess is he's probably somewhere around 13, 14 pounds just from picking him up. He's probably would be better closer to 10 or 11. So we're talking three, four pounds that he needs to lose. That might take every bit of half a year. So if you guys have any questions at all about weight loss in your pets, you definitely talk with your veterinarian, but we're happy to answer questions too, not only at the Pet Pals TV blog, uh, Noah's Animal Hospital blog. You can just e even email me directly through those websites. Great for Rescue and Sanctuary, Pam Woods. We're talking about chunky cats today. This is Tom, and we hope we see you soon.